Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? It's time to jump back up to this Patreon. Let's keep it going, baby. Today, uh, we got a special request coming in from Mr. Glenn Long. Uh, he wanted me to check out Light the Torch Revival. So that's what we're about to get into. So without further ado, Mr. Glenn Long, this is for you, homie. Ready? Let's go. Right, guys so we bought six seven songs uh deep off into this album and uh nothing has grabbed your boy so far man listen I, I i as much as i love howard man uh i don't know man he doesn't sound inspired on this album he doesn't sound like hungry uh like like he was in kill switch engaged he sounded like he was competing for something he sounded like he had a point to prove he sounded hungry and uh and then and and for this band right here that he's in right now he just sounds very comfortable man he sounds very polished it sounds um very just kind of clean and comfortable and just you know smooth and cool about it and uh that's not reaching me man <laughs> and then this album uh overall it just feels very um radio friendly man this sounds like some stuff i probably heard in the, played in the malls and stuff like that this sounds very uh, MTV video-ish right here, man. Um, verse hook, verse hook, you know, the, the clean little vocal part. And um, uh, this is just music playing in the background, man. I, I don't know why it's, it's not reaching me, but I, I love Howard and I want to like it, guys. I want to like it, but I just got to be real with myself. This album isn't reaching me, man. This album sounds like some radio music I'm going to be talking on top of when it's playing, man. It don't sound bad, but it's definitely not capturing my attention like that. Um, this going to be uh, another mix of songs thrown in with the rest of the you know mtv videos man and i'm just gonna have my bob my head talking on some of these songs and just uh yeah yeah it's just not reaching me man let's see if they switch some things up here but right now six seven deep off into this album and doesn't reach me yet man let's keep it going
<sighs> nah, nah, nah. Okay, guys, so we come to the end, man. Final thoughts about this album. Oh, man, this album was boring, guys. This album was so boring. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, I, got, I had so much expectations from my boy Howard, man. But this right here just didn't sound inspiring, man. He didn't sound hungry. He didn't sound like he was, com you know, competing for something. Like he was trying to prove his point about something. He didn't sound like, you know, I need everything. Everything you will find out. And then this is the hope for tomorrow. For the day you will return. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm saying, man. He just... He just he sounded he just sounded like he was just chilling. He was just relaxing. He's he's comfortable, man. And I get it. He's successful, and you know you're doing your thing, man. But uh, yeah, man, I wasn't hungry. wasn't hungry. Uh, but other than that, the music, the music on by itself just sounded very MTV videos, man. It sounded very generic. It sounded very uh, radio friendly. The verse hook, verse hook with the the clean vocally, uh, the hooks and the, and it just it just was background sounds for you, boy, man. It was just straight up background sounds for you, boy. And uh, I, I, listen, I, I I wanted to like this, I really wanted to like it, but I got to keep it real with myself. And when something just sounds generic, man, it just sounds generic to you, boy, man. Um, I think I've heard I've heard music like this. In the malls, man, in passing. This is just regular sounding music right here that uh, that I, I just wouldn't notice, man. I, and the more I, the more I review metal, the more I, I seem to depict eras. It's it's it like 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 the '80s sound different from the '90s, sound different from the 2000s, and and this definitely sounds like a, an era thing right here, where, where music sounded very MTV video-ish, sounded very radio-friendly, sounded like stuff that I hear in the malls, and that's what this sounded like right here, and music like that, man, it's just, it just goes in one ear and out the other, man, it doesn't grab my attention, and uh, this, this, this album right here reminded me of Evan Essence. And uh, you guys may not know this, but I don't like Evan Essence. Why? Um, I, I don't like when music does this. Okay. When, when, when you drag out your lyrics and you don't get to the point and you just seem to lose my attention when you drag it out like this. And I'm just like, uh, uh, just get to it, man. Just get to it. I don't like when music swells and and the and the guitar goes I'm just like all right man all right what is come on come on with that come on with that man and I just start to daydream I start to drift off and I'm I'm gonna be talking on top of this thing when when music does that man and this album did a lot of that man so uh that that's 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 why I compared it to Evan S so if you like Evan Essence, I don't see why you wouldn't like this album right here, but it's just not my flavor, man. Uh, this 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 boy bandish sound and radio friendly sound of music right here, man, uh, doesn't grab my attention because it's so familiar, it's so in passing, and it's stuff that I talk on top of. So yeah, man, that's what I thought about this album, man. Just another album thrown in the pile I won't remember, man. Just my thoughts, man. Till next time. Hey.